When we were 7 years old, we all tried to download RAM, a GPU or even a CPU from the internet. Today, I'm going to do something similar, but instead of downloading hardware, I'm going to try out programs that claims to increase FPS in games and see if they deliver on their promises. First, I will run the games on native Windows without any programs to establish the baseline performance and then compare it with the performance using these apps. The first app is Riser Cortex. It's interesting to see a major gaming company offering such as tools. This app isn't just a game booster, it also functions somewhat like a game store. Anyway, I conduct two tests using the app, first with just the game boost and secondly with both the game boost and system optimization. Let's activate the game boost and see what happens. And yes, it does something. In kiosk, it cleans up the CPU usage, reducing it to 57% and RAM usage to just 4288 MB, achieving 51 FPS. In bad partnering, it reduces CPU usage to 71% and RAM usage to 4584 MB, achieving 31 FPS. I believe I could achieve higher FPS and better performance if I weren't recording on the same laptop. The best Best feature of this app that you can restore everything after you finish gaming. Now let's turn on the optimization. In kiosk, CPU usage improves to 62%, RAM usage increases to 5017, and FPS remains at 50. In bed partnering, CPU usage increases to 77%, RAM usage drops slightly to 4936 megabytes, and FPS decreases to 29 FPS. It it appears that gaming experience is better without optimization. The second app is Smart Games Booster. This app has a standout feature that makes it really great. It rates your PC and shows you which games you can play at minimum or recommended setting and which one you can't. Let's turn it on and see how it performs. It claims that performance is improved by 90%. Let's find out. In kiosk, I got 54% CPU usage, 4 1252 MB RAM usage and 44 FPS. In bad partnering, it gives me 65% CPU usage, 4306 MB RAM usage and 31 FPS. I'm not sure why, but even though it optimizes resources usage, the FPS drop it in kiosk and stayed the same in bad partnering. Maybe it's because I was recording? The third app is BGWare Game Booster. At first glance, I thought it was a game changer because it looked advanced, so I started by trying the basic boost or the free option. And honestly, the result shocked me. In kiosk, I got 100% CPU usage, 5,557 megabytes of RAM usage and 37 FPS. When I saw those results, I immediately suspected that this app may be malware. Next, I quickly tested the max boost option. It gave me 74% CPU usage, 6,957 megabytes of RAM usage and 46 FBS in kiosk. I'm not sure if this app is a virus or it performs poorly with the basic boost to make you think wow the max boost works great but in reality it feels like it's stealing your performance. The last app is Game Fire. It looks similar to Smart Games Booster, but does it deliver the same performance? Let's find out. In Kiosk, I got 56% CPU usage, 4179 megabytes of RAM usage, and 50 FPS. In bad partnering, I got 74% CPU usage, 4520 megabytes of RAM usage, and 29 FPS. It seems like the app did improve performance slightly. However, this app comes with a major downside. It messes up your Windows appearance and settings. For example, I used to unlock my laptop with a fingerprint, but after using this app, that feature was removed. It also caused issues with printing documents, and you can't fix these problems unless you restore the system. Having to restore your system every time you use this app is definitely not worth it. At the very least, we now know that these apps do make a difference, but don't 
don't expect something drastic like a 100 FPS boost. In my opinion, if you want to try one of these apps, go for Riser Cortex. It's more advanced and doesn't cause problems with your system after using it. That's all for today. See you in the next video, inshallah.